Hey guys, it's Mick Mick. Sorry about the inactivity over the last couple, the last two weeks. I know all I've uploaded is just a Trickshine MW2, like, fun video. And, uh, it's mainly because I've had these videos all set to upload. Like, this, this video has been, uh, sitting here for about two weeks. And I just haven't commented it. I don't know why, but anyways, this is an amazing video. It's, uh, we're in the bar room, or just the bar, and on Town Survival, you just start at round 20, and you just see how far you can survive, only by perks at end of round, and you can only use upgrade cults. And, so this is, this is, uh, the first time I tried this. This is, like, the first attempt with Pro AC. We actually got extremely high for the first time. And we kind of developed a strategy of just one guy rape train around where I am right here. And he saved me big time right there. And the other guy would sit around the broken table. But the, the main reason why this challenge is so, like, mind-blowing is just because there's constant explosions going on in this small little room. And obviously we could have done in a smaller room, like, you could do it... Upsta or, uh, upstairs, yeah, or you could go up by a jug, but this, like, you can't make it too hard, otherwise it won't be as fun. And you can actually, like, literally rape train inside this bar, so that's why it makes it made it so fun. So now I don't have jug for the rest of the round, but this is another highlight video. Also, this is going to be a two-part video. The second part, I'm just going to say, is going to be literally so much more amazing than this than this but I want to upload this just because like uh, if you didn't watch if this is like an, still really good just compared to the second part second parts better but otherwise in other news um I've been going back to sniping lately and in black ops 2 and me and my friends we're gonna make a frontage I don't know if it's just gonna be one week worth of clips or something like that we haven't exactly decided but it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty good. We have a lot of clips so far, and I'll probably edit the first one. And uh, I'm still doing zombies though. I might send one of these videos into Zomunity, try to get uploaded to there again. But otherwise, oh yeah, the perks to run don't get double tap. Double tap will screw you up in this because it'll it gives you way too much splash damage up close. Like, you get more ammo if you use double tap since it's double the ammo. But you'll screw, you'll screw yourself over. Right there, I kind of sat by watching. That was, wasn't exactly, uh, I didn't react quick enough to save him. And Maximo! Another thing there's been a lot of talk about is the new, like, uh, the new speculations on the new zombie map that's going to be released at the end of the month and supposedly the new area is called die rise just like just spelled out die rise I don't even get what that's about and which would take the place of like green run since this uh, since uh, this area that we're in and transit mode and everything that's green run as a map and I know a couple things that people have been saying, like supposedly supposedly somebody at Activision, guy named Jimmy, he's like leaking stuff or I don't know, he's giving hints to zombie players. And supposedly they're gonna replace the bus with the wagon. So and Ted's still gonna drive it. I don't and and Ted is gonna be dressed up in a farmer suit instead of whatever he's dressed up now. So that that sounds just fantastic to me. I I don't really care, but and I thought uh, one cool part was that there's supposedly there's gonna be a city there's gonna be city village park and something else. There's four areas for survival instead of only three, and I found kind of cool that in the city there's a supposedly like a five story skyscraper. That's actually what I've been wanting for a while. I wanted to play like modern, more modern zombies than just like Darius or something like that, which is kind of modern, but or like Stupid Moon. Nobody likes Moon. 
and Moon's a good map though. But otherwise, I really don't like what I really just don't like survival mode as a whole. I think they should have not have broken the maps up. They should have just left it as one big transit mode, and that was the only mode you could have done. And, oh, and grief. I like grief. But survival, that's just that's just kind of pointless. Cause I mean, what's the point when you can just go play the areas and create your own challenge? in transit mode and just just stay inside of the town or whatever but also I usually don't do any solos lately I don't know solos and like high round solos high round co-ops they're just not as appealing this really gets insane right here yep yep I go down I was like I Royce he barely got out he squeezed through it and then he goes down just right after that I kinda screwed it up by joining I was trying to join our rape chains or whatever and so that was our round 27 in the bar and so if you can beat that just uh, video response to this cuz I love this is my favorite black ops 2 challenge so far and it wasn't founded by me that orig the original challenge rules was just to do it on solo and it's a lot boring than what I like modified it to and you just start up a game solo round 20, upgrade your cults, and then didn't buy a jug and just rape trained a whole round. If you beat round 20, you completed the challenge. So that to me is downright boring. So, uh, just number one, it's solo. I don't like solos. They're just too boring. That's why I don't do high rounds or anything. And, and even if you did co-op, like no jug and then just one round, you could keep going. So you gotta turn it, like, the objective of a challenge isn't to have an ending, I'd, or, no, not really, like, Nazi Zombies never had an ending, like, that you can accomplish, it's always just going for the highest round, so that's why I keep my challenges simple, high rounds, like, even high rounds and we just do it somewhere hard, like, on the farm, in the map farm, you can, we came up with this challenge, like, staying inside the barn, the whole the whole game or whatever, buying jug and then you can only rebuy perks at end and you have to use the M14 or Olympia. No, yeah, the Olympia is the only weapon. And that's another, but that's not as successful as, it's not as fun as this because it's, obviously there's no upgrade Mustang Sally so it takes way, way, way too long. And it's not as, I don't know, it's way too close quarters. This this challenge gets so hectic for player. Like especially in my next video, it's gonna be an exciting commentary, unlike this one. This one's more of a relaxed commentary, just cause I don't know. It's it's not. It's a really good video, but it was it's a little too long. But I, I'm just gonna upload all of it, just because I don't exactly know what what to keep out, what to put in since it's kind of like steady action. By the way, this is a separate game when I was playing with Exist and Agent Eagle. And this is Agent Eagle's first time being in a YouTube video, so so uh, he's pretty good actually at zombies as a whole. And so is my boy Exist. And it's three player really changes the whole, like right now it's pretty much rambling. Like we have, you can't really have a set strategy for three or four players. There's just too many people inside of this little tiny room. And then me and Exist are the only ones holding on to Jug. But also in otherwise, I've also done 8 player transit modes. In case you don't know how you do that, it's just like a, you can either have a leg switch to do it or it's a glitch with an air that you get. And it it's, uh, just lets you start a game with 8 player co-op on survival or transit. And I've done transit both times. And that is um, so, so fun. I actually have an entire game recorded. I joined the session, so... And that's what you have to do. You have to have, like, a four-player game, and then the last four players join their session at round one. And, like, that's originally what I was hoping for from Black Ops 2, was that they expand the, the amount of players to eight. And it sounded like they were. That's what Treyarch made it sound like they were actually going to do that in co-op mode. 
and then we find out it's only competitive and that kind of that wasn't that just wasn't as fun as co-op competitive will never like grief mode it'll never be as fun as co-op for me because you can still do competitive in co-op as we all know point horror challenges from black ops 1 but otherwise this video is pretty much over guys next video get ready for a very exciting time of your life and V. McMick out.